Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to this review of Plague Inc. Evolved, the newest release from Endemic Creations, the ones who brought you the original Plague Inc. For those who don't know, Plague Inc. is a strategy game based around the idea of destroying the world with a variety of diseases and evolutions of said disease. You take the role of a de uh, of basically an evil god with the power to spread disease to the world. Of course, this is a game I thoroughly enjoy personally and I've made various videos of the original. So, what is the new game like exactly? Well, sadly, the new game is still in early access. So, as you can see, many of the of the new game modes are still in making. They're still not available in the early access build, but I can still talk to you about how they've done the game on PC and where they seem to be heading in the future. Um, once you buy the game in early access, you will be getting the new uh, the new modes through free updates in the future. This includes, and what's the most exciting new addition in my opinion, of the multiplayer option. The multiplayer option will be a co-op mode and a versus mode to either to see who can who can infect the world fastest and destroy the world fastest or to impede the other one's progress. At least that seems to be where they're going with it. They haven't released too much information on the multiplayer, so that seems to be all I can really say about that. The new modes include a speedrunning mode, official scenarios and custom scenarios. Custom scenarios are going to be very interesting as I have implied we'll be able to, once created, share these scenarios with others. The official scenarios will be things like on the mobile version, with uh, which is the original Plague Inc, with things such as the H1, the N1, H1, and things like that, along with HIV, global warming, etc., etc. So, without further ado, I am going to have a quick look at the options menu and then carry on. So, the one problem I would have is the is with the resolution and windowed mode options. What I found is a lot of the resolution options when in windowed mode cause black edges around the screen with very few actually fitting my monitor at least and I've had a fair few other people say the same problem. And that is really the only problem so far I've actually encountered with the video. It's It runs perfectly on even quite a bad computer as I've been playing it on my laptop quite religiously the last few days. And other than that everything seems to be absolutely fine with very few um, technical issues given, particularly with me. Uh, I'm a good example because I have a very bad computer and a very bad laptop, being a very poor person that I am. A student life is a student life. So without further ado, I'll just quickly have a quick game to show you the idea of the game. This is a game which will be loved by completionists, and I'll tell you that for a fact. As you can see, there's a variety of different disease types, each with a unique style of play, with their own um, abilities and own different quirks. Oh wow, I haven't actually seen the um, prion before and that looks kind of disgusting. Okay, so let's just go into bacteria and start a quick casual game to show you. As you as you complete the game, you will unlock different genes to upgrade your bacteria at the start, such as Darwinist, which will increase the chance of a plague mutating. So let's just go ahead and insert that. These two I currently have none unlocked and these I have some, in such as give your plague a bonus in humid climates and such. So let's we'll go ahead and just carry on with what we've got. And without further ado, let's go into a casual game. Call it Lafrixia because I am a very sad person. And here we are. As you can see, the world, if if you've played the original game, which, which I suspect a lot of people have, you'll see that the graphics have improved significantly, which is to be expected since it isn't just a PC port of the mobile version. There have been significant upgrades. So let's start in India. There is now a super fast forward option, which is brilliant in my opinion. It's probably one of the best upgrades of the new game, because games could drag on 30 minutes plus on the mobile, which is good because you can save your progress and come back to it. So as you can see, it's a simulation with a slow down speed here. There's planes, which which, indi which kind of just represent people migrating from country to country, um, going on holiday, etc. So the idea is, it's trying to be quite realistic, and as you can see, you can zoom in a lot more than you used to be able to. And as you go along, you'll get bubbles which give you DNA. DNA can be spent in this, which is the big thing, really. There is transmissions, symptoms, and abilities. Each bacteria will have their own unique ability in the corner here. For instance, a bacteria can be highly resistant to different climates due to its bacterial cell. 
shell rather, and you can upgrade it by evolving it with DNA. As you can see, the cost here is 6 points, and I've already amassed 11 DNA. But to start off with, you'll always want to go into a transmission which doesn't increase your severity or lethality, but will increase your infectivity. So we're, so we're now in water. And each one has a little bit of flavour text just to tell you what's actually going on. For instance, with water level 1, pathogen can survive outside the body in fresh, warm water, increasing infectivity, especially in humid environments and ship transmission. So that'll increase our infection rate. So as you can see in India, we're already at 100 infected. Uh, a, a lot of um, flavour text bubbles will pop up, some of them are actually very funny, so I found that a quite nice thing. Most of them are tips. Another problem I have found is you, you can't yet disable tips in the options, which is a bit annoying as I've played the game a fair few times and I still have to skip all these tips. But when you first start playing the game, they are very helpful. There is also going to be a tutorial soon in, in, in one of the, the new updates. Okay, so the basic gist of the game is infect everyone and kill everyone and you win. However, once you get found, the different countries will begin to, to attempt to cure you. As you can see in the bottom right corner, at the moment I have not been discovered, so there's no cure effort. And you generally won't be discovered until your severity is high enough to be discovered. All symptoms increase your severity a little bit, some of them quite a lot. And as you can see right now, we've only got access to the very basic symptoms, anemia, cysts, insomnia, and coughing. So we'll go ahead and evolve coughing because that will increase our infectivity significantly but won't actually increase our severity by much, and won't increase our lethality at all. And as you can see then you get more options, which are now pneumonia and sneezing. These will carry on in, until you get to the strongest one down here, which is total organ failure. But other ones also include things like coma, uh, necrosis, and insanity. Generally at the bottom left is the whole insanity one, it goes insomnia, paranoia, etc. And that doesn't really increase lethality at all, or even infectivity but will make you harder to cure, as an insane person can't really tell you exactly what's wrong with them. So there we are, my, my new people are now coughing, and every time they cough, they can infect water sources. And so my infection rate has gone quite high. So I'm infecting about 500 people per day now, whereas before I was infecting about 100 at most. So that will keep on increasing, we'll keep on getting DNA by infecting people, although that will slow down the more people we get infected. So the more people we infect, the more people we need to infect to get DNA. We also get DNA from these random bubbles that pop up, and when we start to kill people past a certain point, we'll also get even more DNA. This game, as I say, is perfect for people who love strategy games and love hitting their head against a brick wall, because you will fail at this game more than you think so. To try and get 5 stars to get the maximum score at the end is actually incredibly difficult and there is other options such as Ultra Brutal which is absolutely horrendous which is the hardest game mode and I am yet to complete one game on that and I have played a lot of hours in the original as is um, proven by the amount of videos I have on my channel of the original. So is it really worth buying? Um, currently the prices are in the UK it costs £11.99 and in the US it costs, if I'm correct, $14.99. So, it, is, it isn't the cheapest of games, I'll admit, and it is a bit more expensive than the original. However, if you're like me, and you're the kind of person who loves a game where you have to keep on trying and keep on getting better, then it is the game for you, definitely. I think it's definitely worth it because of the sheer numbers of hours you'll put into this game without realising it. Uh, in the original game, I now ho have over 80 hours of gameplay um, done, and only half of that is me yelling at the screen to try and get it to work. Because I had to play it on an emulator, which was a bit of an annoyance, but now here we are in the PC version. I would say it is a huge upgrade to the mobile version, with a lot of effort being put on it to make it look a lot better. I'm sorry, I'm kind of like auto-playing the game while I'm speaking, it's just habit now. So I've gone down a lot of routes to try and get myself more infectious without without becoming too severe. So I'm spreading very quickly, as you can see, I'm now in the UK and such. Upgrading um, air will get you into planes, upgrading water will, will get you into more boats. Boats are generally considered a lot more effective than planes, as they can get you to places without airports, such as Madagascar and Greenland. If you play for a long enough time, you will realise Greenland is your worst enemy because it will never get infected because no one lives there. <laughs> it takes a very long time. 
So there's little else more to say about the game really other than I personally enjoy it thoroughly and at an, on an objective note it is early access currently so as long as you're fine with just having the main game and without well it, I, I would say bare bones but it, as I can as I've said before it has there's been a lot of effort to be put into making the game very complete the main storyline the main gameplay is completely finished and so I've been enjoying that thoroughly and playing that and that seems absolutely fine however in the future there will be new game modes as I've stated scenarios and multiplayer being the main two so if if you think this is the kind of game you like I would say it's completely worth it it's also a very unique kind of game with very few others like it on the market most of them are generally free flash games which don't have the same longevity as this particular title so I think that about wraps up my first ever review I'm sorry if it was a bit shaky I hope I've um, swayed your votes one way or the other I hope you've um, enjoyed the review so if you haven't already please give this video a like and a comment and keep looking at the channel because I'll probably be a let's play of this particular game in the future Thank you for watching and goodbye and happy infecting.